Alright, how's it going guys? Five's back. Delinquent Velociraptor Media. Week five of the Puckle Podcast Standard Tournament. Back with the med Mega... Not Mega, no. Just regular Metagross, uh, Metagross GX deck. Uh, this will be the final round of the tournament versus uh, Dark Eric. Uh, check him out on YouTube. He also has a... Uh, like a, I think it's like a gaming and vlog channel. I believe it's Dark13Key. Um, D-A-R-K-1-3-K-E-Y. So go check him out. Um, like I said in the last video, week four didn't really happen because uh, my opponent and I could never get together. I ended up getting the default win on that one, which was cool. So two and two going into this one. Uh, opening with a Matang, Rare Candy, Metagross in my hand. Obviously, I'd like to see another Pokemon. Uh, you, you always run the risk of just kind of getting donked immediately and not having anything to fall back on. But... It's not a bad opener. We also have a Sycamore. We don't mind pitching energy because we can just uh, use Metagross's ability to pull them back. So, yeah. Uh, I, I was excited. I had enjoyed the tournament a lot. And, uh, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm excited for the last game. I'm excited because they're going to be doing another one. And he's playing Tapu Bulu, which I had not really faced much. Um, he's also playing Lorantis. Uh, I wasn't sure at this point if it was for the promo Lorantis that adds damage to Grass and Fire Pokemon or if it was just for Lorantis GX, or both. Uh, so we draw Shaman, attach an energy to the Matang, and pass, and hope he can't knock us out. Um, he does the Scape Rope straight into the Tapu Bulu, which immediately worries me. Uh, as it stands, he can only do 30 damage, uh, I believe, with his, with his very basic attack. And then he Kakui's and he's up to 50 damage, and I was actually pretty worried because now he's only 10 damage away from just the clean first turn knockout. Um, but that is all he gets, and <laughs> we hang on by a thread. I go ahead and attach a second energy, rare candy into the Metagross, breathe a heavy, heavy sigh of relief that we don't get knocked out. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and drop the Lele, go find a supporter, and uh, I think I don't remember exactly what we take here. I wouldn't be surprised if we bridge it just to go ahead and fill the bench back out. Uh, since we do already have like a Sycamore in our hand, we don't really need that. Um, so bridge it would be a good option to get some more Matang or Matang and Alolan Vulpix or, or you know whatever along those lines. Uh, and we do grab the Bridget. Go ahead and play the Bridget as our supporter for the turn. Um, and just go ahead and get... I think... I don't remember. I, I kind of waver on three Matang or two Matang and a Magierna to uh, prevent abilities, because I wasn't sure exactly what he was playing. Um, we've run into it in the past where Magierna's been really big on keeping us safe from uh, decks with special conditions. Um, but uh, I do just get the three Beldum, drop a Choice Band, drop a Shaman to uh, fill back up some cards, and go ahead and Algorithm. Algorithm is something I use pretty early, pretty regularly, uh, just to go ahead and get some things out of the deck. I go grab Metagross, I grow grab Matang, I grab a rare candy, and we are ready to party next turn. Um, 150 is Metagross's base damage, Tapu Bulu has a 180 HP, but we do have the choice band, so that is actually a clean knockout uh, if we are around on the next turn and can attach that third energy. Now they can also do 180 uh, by discarding all their energy, but that doesn't knock us out. Now, he does uh, Lele for an end there, which is not great, but it's fine. Uh, you get in... It, Algorithm GX is a lot like um, Sylveon's... Was it Curly Ribbon or something? Or uh, Drampa's GX attack, where you just end up with a bunch more cards in your hand, and you're very likely for your opponent to do whatever they can to end you and take away everything you've gone and, and dug for. Uh, so there you saw the uh, promo Lorantis with the Sunny Day ability. Uh, grass and Fire type Pokemon do an extra 20 damage, uh, which is always a nice bonus. I, I play it in a couple of decks. It's a, it's a sweet card. Uh, so he only actually does 50 to us there, which I am totally okay with. All of his energy is invested into this Tapu Bulu. So if we can take the knockout here, he is not going to be in great shape. Now the hand he end us into is five supporters and an Ultra Ball. Um... I believe, and an energy, so that's not my favorite thing in the world, so we go ahead and, we go ahead and drop some supporters, uh, use the Ultra Ball to go find a Matang, 
go ahead and uh, drop that onto one of our benched Beldum and go ahead and Giga Hammer. Um, I would prefer to have several Metagross up at this point since we're going to be retreating next turn uh, since we can't attack, but we do have Pokemon Ranger in our hand. Uh, Pokemon Ranger removes all effects of attacks from active Pokemon, so it allows Metagross to attack back-to-back -back turns, which is sweet. Um, we do see that his Fomantis are both for Lorantis GX and for Promo Lorantis. Um, so this is just Lorantis Bulu. It's a very straightforward, very hard-hitting grass deck. It seems super sweet. Love his energy. I had not actually seen the uh, the reverse grass energy prior to that. Those are absolutely fantastic. I actually went out and traded for some after playing against him because those things are awesome. Um, so he, he hits us with, uh, I believe it's Solar Blade. Um, no, actually he uses uh, Flower Supply. Uh, that's just that much boosted damage with the Choice Band and the two Promo Lorantis. Uh, allows him to spread some energy around on his bench, which I think all goes on to Tapu Bulu. And I actually go ahead and Max Potion. Um, and since uh, I just I want to be able to keep this Metagross alive. Now, I can't... I can Geotech Systems, but I can only get... Um, energy onto one of them um, because I don't have multiple Metagross. I consider Sycamoreing up one of his Lorantis. I, I kind of snapped off the Max Potion without, you know, really a way to get any of my energy back past the first one um, using the active Metagross's Geotech systems. So I'm kind of in a weird spot right now. Um, I go ahead and use the Pokemon Club to give me the ability to attack again, which frankly I'm really not sure why I did, because it did me absolutely no good there. I didn't have the energy, I wasn't going to be able to find the energy, so I really should not have used that. If anything, I should have Lysandered something up, you know, kind of stick him in a bad situation. Uh, I don't want to stick him more away the Pokemon, uh, I think it's Elite. I think, I think I've been saying Pokemon Fan Club this whole time. That is not the name of that card. Pokemon Fan Club lets you go find Pokemon. Um, I believe that is... I forget which card that is. Oh my goodness, that's awkward. I'm post-recording this, so I'm not actually in the game, and I can't actually look at it. But uh, he actually Lysander's... Or actually, he escape ropes up. I believe it is one of our Beldum. Um, I don't want to give him two prizes, so I just give him a Beldum. And he uh, hits us with a top of Bulu. I'm going to go ahead and Geotech System is back another energy. So, actually, I just need the Sycamore here, which involves pitching two more Sycamore, which is not fun, but it's fine. Uh, we do find another Metagross. We are fully powered back up, and we still have our Choice Band, so we can Giga Hammer and take out another Tapu Bulu. So, you know, the misplay with... I think it's actually called Ace Trainer. I think that's what it's called. Um, didn't just completely come back to bite us there. I'm still not super happy that was sloppy. Um, on my part, there was really no reason to do that. If anything, Lysand or something up, or just don't play a trainer card and pass. Um, there's no reason to waste it there. Granted, I do have Via Seeker; I can always get it back, but it's just kind of a it's just kind of a sloppy play. There's no reason to use it, and because it didn't really gain me anything. So uh, we're going to hang out, see what he does on his turn. He does have some grass energy he can spread around. And uh, yeah, it's uh, I I'm very happy with where I am. We're already up um, on prizes. We only have to take two more. He does in us down to two. Um, I do lose some things I'd have liked to have kept. Some things I don't mind putting that low and ball picks back. I don't need it at this point. Uh, he does in us into a Lysander. And a Magirna, so that's not too bad. Um, a lot of grass decks, or some grass decks, some decks have special conditions, so Magirna is very useful. Tapu Bulu, Lorantis is not one of those decks, but that's fine. Uh, we do still have the Lysander, and I do like having the card. Um, it is, uh, it has saved me on more than one occasion. Um, even in this tournament, it has gotten me, uh, safe from some paralysis from Lapras uh, on one or two occasions, so always a big fan of, of having uh, having that around. And um, he goes ahead and uh, hits us with Flower Supply again, spreads out some more energy, and um, he is in position to either knock us out with his um, GX attack or with 
Uh, we're not. We're not actually with the bonus from the promo of Lorantis. We are in range of him knocking us out with uh, the uh, what is, I think it's called Solar Blade. It's the one that heals him. Uh, I realize as I'm going to retreat my active Metagross because I don't want it to get knocked out that I won't be able to put three energy back on anything in the active because I only have two active Metagross. But I can Geotech Systems two of them back onto Tapu Lele, and uh, I can use Energy Drive. Um, for a hundred, which is totally fine, put some damage down on the active Lorantis, kind of keep our um, keep our Metagross safe for a turn or two. I don't necessarily mind giving up a prize here, be that the Shaman or the uh, the Tapu Lele, or if he wants to try and knock out a uh, a Metagross because he does via Seeker back a Lysander, uh, and he is going to pull up the damage Metagross and I believe use his GX attack to uh, Chlorocythe GX, which is just 50 times the amount of grass energy attached, uh, which in this case is is 3, but that's 150, and I'm already at 110 damage, and that's a Metagross gone. That does heal him for 30. He only has 70 damage on him now, uh, and I kind of think Lorantis GX has 210 HP. That sounds right in my head. Uh, but I am just going to go ahead and attach the energy we draw Geotech Systems, another energy, and uh, energy drive for 140, and the knockout. So we win game one off of um, two pretty solid Metagross hits and Tapu Lele's energy drive, which is always, uh, you know, sort of a, I don't even want to call it a secondary attacker in the deck, but it's it's totally useful in pinch situations like that. Uh, and these tournaments are, these matches are best two out of three, so we're going to go ahead and challenge uh, challenge him to game number two. Go ahead and jump back in, see if Metagross can carry us on through. I'm, uh, of all the decks I tested, I think I'm, I'm happy I went with Metagross. I enjoyed playing the deck. It is actually a lot of fun. Um, it is, a. Uh, it has its ups and downs. I, I, it doesn't, it struggles with ability lock because you can't geotech systems, and that is definitely a major part of what makes the deck tick. Um, I know a lot of people, myself included, we're kind of down on the card when it was previewed and, and first came out, but it has proven to be absolutely fantastic for me. I, I love the card. Um, so we lead of all in Vulpix, which is always something I'm okay with. We don't have anything else on the bench, which is always something I'm not okay with. Um, but we'll see, we'll see what we can work with here. Uh, we are going first, which I realized actually should have been him going first because he lost. Um, but we actually just can't do anything and have to pass. Uh, he is able to find an energy, and if he can dig, he actually has the Professor Kakui. That puts him at one, that puts him at 50 damage. He would actually only need 10 more damage, and he could actually just win right here. Thankfully, he doesn't have any other way to boost his damage. And the problem is that we don't actually find any other Pokemon. So, I actually go ahead and max potion all of the damage off of Vulpix, and I'm going to take the super, super risky line of just beaconing and hoping he can't knock me out. In theory, he can't get up to three grass energy on Tapu Bulu. He can't get a Lorantis down, a Promo Lorantis down, unless he hits a Forest of Giant Plants. I'm actually not in terrible shape here. There's a good chance he can't knock me out, which lets me go back to my turn, play the two Beldum, and not have to Sycamore everything, because I didn't want to Sycamore away a Metagross, a Choice Band, and all that energy without any way to reattach all of that energy. Um, so we hang on for another turn. I love Vulpix, you know, soaking GX attacks like you absolutely know it was always intended to. Um, we do hit a Rare Candy. We have a Metagross in hand. That's awesome. Uh, two Beldum on the bench now. I go ahead and grab another Beldum and a Matang for next turn. And, uh, yeah, I, I feel okay. Alolan and Vulpix hung in there, took way more damage than it's supposed to, and uh, actually carried us through. He does hit his third energy and, uh, you know, can very easily knock us out now. And he actually does hit a Force of Giant Plants. So if he had hit that a turn earlier and had the promo Lorantis in hand, we'd have been in a lot of trouble. Uh, thankfully, that was not the case, and we keep, uh, we keep moving through. We're still in decent shape. He is going to almost certainly knock us out here uh, with any number of attacks. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, we're in we're in a totally acceptable position. I never have a problem leading a lull in ball picks because it just lets you find anything you want. He actually nature's judgments, um, takes the knockout, deals 120. Nature's judgment lets you do 120 or 180 if you discard all the energy attached to Tapabulu. Um, he has no reason to do that. He only had to do like 30 damage to Vulpix. Um, so we're gonna go ahead back back to our turn. Uh, and I actually promote a Beldum and then immediately retreat it just to go ahead and start putting energy in the discard for uh, Geotech systems. Now that does mean we can't actually get up to three energy this turn uh, unless I somehow hit... Uh, actually, I don't think there's anything I could hit that would get me to three energy this turn. So I'm just going to go ahead and Geotech systems again, get a second energy on Metagross. I have another in hand. I think I have at least one more in the discard. We'll go ahead and Algorithm GX. Um, we are out of Bethlehem, so we are at, uh, at three. I believe we have one, uh, one prized, but that's not too bad. Um, I go grab two Metagross. Uh, we grab some Rare Candy, a Field Blower, and we're going to try and get... Uh, and I actually grab a Karen. Karen is a supporter I'm a big fan of in, in decks like this. Uh, it allows you to retreat your active Pokemon put a new active in place, and heal 30 damage off of the old active. So it, it lets you save a lot of Pokemon. Uh, you don't have to play escape ropes. You can always via secret back. Um, so big fan of that. Super good card. Um, not often used all that lot, all that much. I just said Karen. That is not Karen. That is Olympia. Karen, I think, like shuffles all the Pokemon from your discard back into your deck. It's how you beat Night March and expand it. Uh, and how you beat Night March in Standard if you're playing in Japan, because their Standard is weird. And absolutely nothing like the Standard, I think, basically the rest of the world plays. Theirs is a much broader format. Um, so that's actually, that's Olympia. Olympia is for, um, yes, Olympia is for retreating Pokemon. Karen is for beating Night March. And other, it's for beating Night March. Um, and I guess sort of Vespaquin in that same vein because Vespaquin and Night March are very similar decks and sometimes actually just straight up played together. Um, so yeah, Karen's mostly for that. And I think Karen's a promo from the, I'm gonna say the Keldeo EX versus Rayquaza EX um, dual deck thing. I don't actually know if it's called a dual deck. That's just what it would be called if it was a magic product. Um, it's actually a great product. Big fan of that. It's got like VS Seekers in it, some super nice expanded cards. Definitely check that out if you can still find it at your like your local Walmart or Target. They're like 30 bucks. You get two VS Seekers, a bunch of expanded and standard playable cards. It's good stuff. Um, so we're back on his turn. He does uh, Escape Rope. And uh, I go ahead and put Matang in the active. This is not the best position in the world, but he actually just straight up after that Flower Supplies for 40 and uh, is going to attach some energy from his discard, and we get our turn back. And I'm in the position to have a couple of more Metagross, maybe be able to power up the one in the active, and uh, start laying down some big hits with, uh, well, with our only attack, effectively, with Metagross, um, which is Giga Hammer. Uh, 150, can't use it next turn, but we can retreat with Metagross, use Geotech Systems, bring all the energy back we lost from our three retreat cost, and we're totally back where we started, and it's fine. So we're going to go ahead and Geotech Systems some energy onto the active Metagross, and uh, I've got some things I can do. I have a Field Blower. I have a Bridget. Bridget really doesn't do me any good right now. There's nothing I really want to go get. I, uh, I believe my last Beldum is prized currently, so that's kind of whatever. Um, but yeah, we have one in the active. We cannot knock out, um, Lorantis. And I think with, um, maybe with an energy, he can, uh, knock us out with his GX attack since he does have a choice band. But we put a lot of damage on it. We already have some energy on one of our benched ones, so we don't have to have all three to Geotech systems. He does in us, but we're still at six prize cards, so that's not terrible. Uh, we do lose a couple of cards, but there's a couple things I didn't want to be in my hand in particular anyway. So he, uh, he actually ends us into some more energy, Amagirna. We, we actually have some things to work with. I didn't mind that in. That was fine. Uh, he is going to Ultra Ball and I think probably go find a Promo Lorantis. Uh, go ahead and keep boosting his damage with uh, Sunny Day since he does have a Forest of Giant Plants available. And yeah, this is not, you know, 
going quite as smoothly as game one. But uh, I still feel like we're in a pretty decent shape. He does uh, have his fourth energy. He will be able to knock us out with his GX attack. We will be able to knock him out in response with another Giga Hammer. Um, and he'll be down to three prizes. We'll be down to four. And um, I, I don't feel too bad about this. This actually is, is a pretty decent position. Um, I've got some resources in hand. Go ahead and attach an energy to the bench. If you can attach energy to your bench in between turns, you're attaching um, otherwise. It's, uh, it's not bad to be able to kind of not have to have as many Metagross to Geotech systems to get the energy you need for each attack uh, if you don't have, you know, constantly have three. I do go ahead and Lysander up the Tapu Bulu. Um, I considered just knocking out the Lorantis, but it can't knock us out back. Um, it's already used its GX attack. It can't do but 130 damage a turn, 160 with a choice band, 200 uh, with the promo Lorantis out, but that still doesn't knock out Metagross. Um, one of the things I love about Metagross is that it has 250 HP and is just a brick wall. Uh, so we take our two prizes using that choice band. Uh, he does via Seeker back for a Lysander, um, which is fine. I mean, if he'd rather put damage on that uh, Metagross, it's kind of whatever. He actually does a, a very solid 190, um, but he does not heal enough that we can't just revenge knock him out. Um, I'm going to pitch an Ultra Ball and a Magierna to go see what I have left in the deck. I was hoping, I think I was hoping there was still a Beldum, there isn't, but it's also good just to kind of see what you have, um, see what you could maybe use. I do go get a Tapu Lele. Um, it is always an extra attacker if necessary. Uh, so I attach an energy to the active. We're going to go ahead and, uh, let's see. Okay, we're going to go ahead and Geotech Systems and get three on the active. We can take a knockout here, still have a fully powered Metagross with a choice band on the bench. Um, should that be the route we want to go? And uh, we take our knockout, go down to two prizes remaining, and he doesn't currently have enough energy on anything to revenge knock us out. Um, I'm not even sure. I think the Tapu Bulu has, yeah, Tapu Bulu has one energy on it. Uh, it needs three to do anything and it does not have that three currently. He can't use his GX attack. He already used it with Lorantis. Uh, so it's going to take him at least a turn to find all the energy he needs. I'm just going to be able to retreat out of the active back into the Metagross that has the choice band on it and do 180 again. Um, so yeah, this is looking good. You know, it's not 100%. You, you never want to assume a game is over. Um you get cocky, you get sloppy, you start making misplays, and in the long run, you can lose yourself the game. I have done it on more than one occasion um, in the mighty, mighty world words of Han Solo. Don't get cocky, kid. I, yeah, no, I'm going to stand by quoting him. Um, I'm a big enough Star Wars fan. I'm just going to... That's fine. We quoted Han Solo. We, we quoted Han Solo. Yeah, it's Star Wars. I love Star Wars. So he knocks us out. We are going to go back out into Metagross. I got really ramply there, didn't I? I'm going to stare at the shiny, shiny energy on his Tapu Bulu some more. Um, I'm going to go ahead and Field Blower, just kind of clean up some things. You know, make your plays, even if you're pretty sure you have the win. Just make your plays. Be careful. And we're going to Giga Hammer, take the final knockout, and win this match 2-0. Uh, that leaves us at a 3-2 and record in the tournament. For my first, like sort of actual with prizes run by a host, not just by the PTCGO client tournament for Pokemon. I was really happy. That was a lot of fun. I got to play some really cool people. I got to play some people who were regularly on the, the Puckle podcast who were hosting the tournament. That was a lot of fun. Um, he was actually playing Delinquent, which surprised me a little. I mean, he is playing probably four Forest of Giant Plants, and getting cards out of your opponent's hand is always good. I was just a little surprised he was, uh, he was running it. Um, he had a really cool deck. I had not really played much against Tapu, uh, Tapu Bulu, so that was cool. Uh, I was a big fan of that. That was, uh, that was actually a sweet deck to play against. So, uh, yeah, that is, um, that is the tournament, guys. That is, is, uh, that is our run with Metagross GX, Geotech Systems to pull back energy, Giga Hammer for damage, 
algorithm to find cards. Uh, it is a stage two. It is difficult to set up. It does have that three retreat, retreat cost, which is sort of mitigated by the fact you can geotech systems the energy back, but sometimes you just get stuck. Um, but I'm still a big fan of the card, big fan of the deck. I will probably still play it uh, post-rotation. We do know what's you know sort of going to be rotating out. We don't lose that many pieces. I mean, you know, obviously I lose the Shaman, you know, things like that. Um, we lose VS Seeker. Basically every deck is hurt by the loss of VS Seeker. That's just kind of part of it. That's kind of whatever. We do still keep Magierna. We do still keep Tapu Lele if I want to play that. We have Alolan Vulpix to beacon for Pokemon, which has been just fantastic. I think, like, I don't think you can play Metagross without playing Alolan Vulpix. The deck's going to be way slower. It's not going to function as cleanly. Um, big fan of things like Olympia. Pokemon Ranger is the name of that card that I was absolutely butchering earlier. Um, you will still have Kakui, Sycamore, Choice Band... I don't know if we lose Floatstone or not. Um, for those of you guys who haven't seen it, check it out on Pokemon's website. They have announced what is rotating. I believe it is everything up to Breakthrough and Breakpoint. Some people thought Breakthrough and Breakpoint would go. Those are actually Stain. I believe it's just like Ancient Origins, Double Crisis, um, stuff like that. Uh, so we're only losing four sets. We are keeping all of the breaks. So if you like playing your Greninja Break deck, that is still hanging out. Uh, we're going to do as we always do. We're going to open a couple of packs to finish out the video. Um, I do like opening packs, even if they are digital. Uh, we do get an Alolan Sand True and Alolan Sand Slash in the same pack, which I thought was kind of cool. Uh, and I think in the first pack we got a Victory Bell. Um, not a super great card. I, I tinkered with it a little bit. It's it's not particularly good. Do get an Alolan Graveler, which I do love playing. Um, so guys, check us out. Delinquent Velociraptor Media, Pokemon, and Magic Content. Have a great day.